Today is the birthday of America, the greatest nation on planet Earth, and Al Davis, the man that's done more for the NFL than any other. It's crazy when you think of all the things he's done for our NFL. He was truly a special man whose like we'll never see again. Davis was the only man ever in the NFL slash AFL to be a position coach, head coach, GM, league commissioner, and an owner. He wasn't just some rich man that bought a team because he could. He was a real football guy that earned his way up the ranks with his knowledge of football. He's also the guy most responsible for the game we have today. His major contributions to the game came when he was the commissioner of the AFL. Kansas City Chiefs owner Lamar Hunt nominated him to the position with the intention of competing with and getting top billing over the NFL. The NFL was a three yards and a cloud of dust and played good defense type of league. Vince Lombardi and his power sweep dominated the NFL in the 60s. But Davis and the AFL ushered in a new brand of football with the quick strike and all out aerial assaults. And that came with multiple camera angles and wireless mics to give fans more access. It was an exciting brand of football that won over a lot of fans. Then Davis started signing NFL players drafting college talent and convincing them to pick the AFL over the NFL. And as time went on, the AFL was starting to outgrow the NFL, knocking the NFL to its knees. So the NFL called on the AFL to negotiate a merger and the AFL was in position to call all the shots, but they didn't. Instead, Hunt went behind Davis's back and negotiated a merger with the NFL that was favorable to them. Remember, the AFL had the NFL on the ropes and all the leverage. So why did Hunt give them so much power and not at least try to negotiate Davis into a commissioner position after he turned the AFL into such an entertaining product? Well, shortly thereafter, Davis went back to the Raiders and the intense contempt between the Raiders and Chiefs was born. And as you know, that contempt is still just as intense as it was then. Davis never respected Pete Rozelle who got the commissioner job he wanted. He never seemed to respect the NFL, period, giving Rozelle and the NFL the finger every opportunity he got. The most notable one being the move from Oakland to Los Angeles. The NFL tried and failed to stop the move as Davis won in court. Davis seemed to be at odds with the NFL for the rest of his life. I guess that's why they don't talk much about all the contributions he made. He doesn't get a fraction of the credit he deserves. Like the Rooney Rule, that's a joke. So Davis was the first to hire a minority head coach and a black head coach, but the NFL having to interview minority candidates almost 10 years after is the Rooney Rule? Then they expand the Rooney Rule to include women when Davis was the first to hire a female executive. Davis was also the first to draft a black quarterback in the first round. Eldridge Dickey was his name. Unfortunately, he didn't pan out as black quarterbacks got death threats among other things to make it hard for them to succeed back then. But Davis didn't care about skin color or where you came from as he scouted and encouraged the AFL to scout players from historically black colleges. He was right there on the front line of the civil rights movement too. He pulled the Raiders out of a preseason game in Mobile, Alabama because Alabama protected segregation laws at the time. He also moved the AFL All-Star game from New Orleans to Houston due to the city's discriminatory practices. Davis didn't tolerate intolerance. Davis helped grow the game as AFL commissioner with wide open offenses and multiple camera angles. He also helped the game grow by playing the biggest part in turning pro football into the ultimate meritocracy. Black, white, Latino, male, female, Davis could really care less. All he wanted were people that could help him win. Davis loved football and he wasn't going to let something like discrimination interfere with the growth of it. You especially have to love his great creation, the Raiders. Happy birthday Al Davis, you are a legend. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.